Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae and today I'm going to share with you a foolproof method to cook salmon. Say goodbye to dry, chalky salmon because I'm going to show you how to cook perfect, buttery, soft salmon every time. And it's so easy to flavor salmon too and I'm going to share with you three different ideas for seasoning salmon. You can adjust and adapt this recipe any which way. I'm just showing the method itself, not necessarily the flavor. So let's get started. And I'm using sockeye salmon here today and it's one of my favorite salmon varieties. There are six different varieties actually. I have a detailed guide on my website about different varieties and which one are the best and which one to stay away from. And you can read that in my blog post here. I'm using sockeye salmon and this is the best salmon because you can't get a farmed sockeye salmon. It's only available as wild caught. Again, you can flavor your salmon any which way. I'm going to use pesto on one of the salmon. On another one, I'm going to use simple olive oil and lemon, very classic. And on the third one, I'm going to use compound butter. Easy way to flavor salmon as well. And I shared earlier this week how to make compound butter in the shorts format, a one minute video. So make sure to check it out here as well. And so let's get started cooking the best salmon ever. So here's what I like to do. First, I like to drizzle a little bit olive oil over the baking sheet. Now you can line your baking sheet with aluminum foil if you would like, just for easy cleanup. But today I'm going to just bake it on baking sheet. Another thing I like to do is sprinkle some salt so that your fish gets seasoned from the bottom as well. So for this cooking method, I recommend skinless fillets because we're going to cook this salmon low and slow. So when you're baking salmon low and slow, the skin gets soggy and very unappetizing, but you can eat it, of course, but they're not as nice and crispy as pan seared crispy salmon skin. So I like to get the skinless salmon. Now I'm going to brush on one of the salmons with olive oil. I have too much olive oil here, so I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to salt all of the salmon. Don't forget salt because it's important for best flavor. So for lemon salmon, I like to also use lemon pepper as well. Just a little bit more flavor, you know, you don't have to. And then place a couple of slices of salmon on top. This is it. Now, another favorite of mine is pesto salmon. Just go ahead and spread the pesto all over the filet, like so. It's such an easy way to flavor the salmon. So, so easy. And then the final one is I like to use compound butter. Just go ahead and place it on top like so. And now we're going to bake this at 300 degrees for about 15 to 25 minutes. It all depends on the thickness of your salmon. That's why I highly recommend using internal meat thermometer like this one so that you can tell your salmon is ready without any guessing game. According to FTA guidelines, you want to cook your fish until the internal temperature reaches 145 degrees. Now, I, it's risky for me to say this, but I personally like to cook my salmon until 130 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven. And then once it's reached 130 degrees, I take them out, let them rest on the counter and until it reaches 135 degrees. And then I like to serve it at 135 degrees because it just really velvety soft texture. If you overcook the salmon, they become dry and chalky not very good. If you think you don't like salmon, maybe try this method and see if you like it or not. Again, good quality salmon is the most important thing for best results. You can never go wrong with sockeye. So I'm going to pop it in the oven and I'll see you in about 15, 20 minutes. My salmon is cooked. Smells so good and looking perfect. 
butter melted from compound butter and the herbs and this is actually garlic scape compound butter so it will taste garlicky and so delicious so let's give it a try thinking to try the pesto one or let's try the this compound butter one it looks so good super soft mm. the garlic scape infused the salmon so beautifully and buttery and soft let me see if i can show you the tender flesh is super tender and opaque this is exactly what you're looking for mm. So I really hope you will try this method and cook a perfect salmon. If you do, please leave me a comment in the comments below. I really love hearing from you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.